In this training module, you will be taken through the operation of this BR-401 ICE-1 high-speed train. During this brief introduction, you will be covering the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's seat. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. This controls the direction of travel and activates the cab. Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. Activate the brakes with the brake key. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply some power to get moving. You'll be doing one circuit of the training center and aim to come to a stop back at the station again afterwards. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. Built between 1989 and 1993, the ICE-1 was Germany's first high-speed intercity express train. Although it looks and is operated like an electrical multiple unit, ICE-1 train sets consist of two class 401 power cars and up to 14 intermediate cars. The ICE-1 has a maximum operational speed of 280 km per hour. You are approaching the station. 
begin applying a small amount of braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop. Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Good work! That concludes all the basics of operating this train. In this training module, you will be learning to drive this BR403 ICE3, also known as the Intercity Express 3. You will be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Take a seat in the driver's seat. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. This controls the direction of travel and activates the cab. Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Use the door. Close the doors before departure. The train is now ready to depart. 
Release the brakes and apply some power to get moving. You'll be doing one circuit of the training center and aim to come to a stop back at the station again afterwards. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. This high speed electrical multiple unit is manufactured by Siemens and is operated in Germany by Deutsche Bahn. These are the third generation of Intercity Express trains and have been in operation in Germany since the year 2000. The ICE3 runs at speeds of up to 300 km per hour in Germany. Although they've reached speeds of 368 km per hour in testing, Rather than having a power car like the ICE-1 and 2, the ICE-3 has underfloor motors throughout. This means passengers can be seated in the entire length of the train. Begin to slow down as you approach the upcoming station. Nice work. Open the doors again to start boarding. Türen geöffnet. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.
In this training module, you will be taken through the operation of a BR185.2 electric locomotive. During this brief introduction, you will cover the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. For this introduction, you will be driving the locomotive a short distance and coupling to a short freight train. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. This controls the direction of travel and activates the cab. Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. There are three types of brakes that are used on this locomotive. The direct brake, train brake and electric brake. The direct brake applies air brakes on just the locomotive and not the wagons. This is used usually within yards for shunting operations. Until you get more familiar with the locomotive, you can ignore this control. The train brake applies air brakes on the locomotive and the wagons together. Under most circumstances, you will slow the train using this control. The electric brake uses the traction motors to slow the train down without using the air brakes. You can use this to provide additional braking, such as when you need to manage your speed going down a steep gradient. The locomotive is now ready to go. Release the train brake and use the throttle to apply some power to get moving. Coasting is a method used to. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. This train is part of the Bombardier Tracks family, a modular platform of diesel and electric locomotives that come in both passenger and freight variations. More than 1,800 locomotives of this family have been sold throughout Europe and are now in use in 17 different countries. The BR185.2, part of the Trex 2 family, is known for the noticeable scale it plays when accelerating from 0 to 16 km per hour. This locomotive can produce 5,600 kilowatts, that's 7,500 horsepower and has a maximum operational speed of 140 km per hour. The freight wagons are behind you. Change direction with the reverser, then change the junction indicated, either by walking over to it or using the map.
The junction is correctly aligned and you can now couple up to the freight. Come to a stop once your locomotive gently touches the wagons. As you reverse, you may find it helpful to use the external camera view to help see behind you. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Let's connect the formation using the external camera. Nice work! Change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. It may take a couple of minutes for the brakes on the entire train to release. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple from the wagons on foot this time. That's it for this training module. Thank mm -hmm. you.